evening, you're listening to Phoenix Radio and we broadcast every Saturday evening from 5 to 11 o'clock on 90.2 MHz VHF. My name's Mark Welsh and I'll be with you through until about 9.30 when Brian Marshall takes over the airwaves until I close down. Anyway, here's something from Wire. I am the fly. Well, if you were listening to the Brian Marshall show last week, as I'm sure you all were, you'll have heard him play, play a Wire single. I think it was 1-2-X-U. Anyway, I think it's about time we had a re- Wire revival. And that's a couple of tracks from them. One from 1978 called I Am The Fly. And then something released just last year called R- uh, Second Length R Swimmer on a Rough Trade 12-inch EP. Anyway, Fake Gadget have got a new album, so new that I haven't had a chance to hear it. And here's a track off it. It's... Side one, track one. Fat Gadget from their new album on Mute Records. The album's called Gag, and that particular track was called Ideal World. This, this is Helen and the Horns. On Thin Sliced Records, that's Helen and the Horns, and that's a single called Freight Train. And the first thousand of those come in a funny blotchy grey vinyl, and uh, all the copies come with a free badge and stickers as well, so rush out and buy it. Anyway, I'm going to keep on plugging our phone line. If you want to phone us up, it's 0374, and there's a couple of girls waiting for you to phone them up and tell them what you think about the station, about the reception, about the programmes, and... Just asked for a request in the Brian Marshall show later on tonight. And I know they like the chameleons, so this one's for them. It's in shreds. and an early single from them called In Shreds on the Epic Record label. Well, this next group called something like Nig Heist, spelt N-I-G hyphen H-E-I-S-T, and they're probably American because they record for the Thermidor record label. And this is a single called Walking Down the Street. you like this. <laughs> and that getting daytime airplay on Radio 1. That's a group called Nick Heist and called Walking Down the Street. And actually it's a single-sided single. On the other side it's just sort of just plain vinyl. You can't play anything. And so that's all you get for your £1.95 or however much you pay for American imports. This uh, next record's for everyone who went to Cambridge today to follow Chelsea.
the Smiths and what difference does it make? And that was actually one of the records played before the match at Cambridge, along with all the other stuff by Elton John and Tracy Ullman and all that stuff. Uh, Peter had to compete with a marching Scots band. Anyway, I'll be back after the adverts with Sonic Youth. <laughs> From the Kill Your Idols 12 inch EP, that's Sonic Youth, and that's something called Protect Me You, and that actually isn't the track I intended to play you. It's because the labels are rather confusing, or so I say, and uh, perhaps I'll squeeze in the track I want to play you a little bit later on. Anyway, uh, if you want to phone us up, you must know the phone number by now, it's 514. If you want to write in for a request or anything, then the address is Phoenix Radio, 1 St Barnabas Road. Woodford Green in Essex, and if you enclose a self-addressed envelope, then uh, you might get an information sheet back in the fairly near future. And uh, in that line, we also have plans to produce T-shirts and uh, another live tape. So stay tuned. The address again: One St Barnabas Road, Woodford Green in Essex. Uh, Skeletal Family have got a new single out. It's their third, and it's something called "She Cries Alone." <coughs> Rhino Records, that's a single by Skeletal Family called She Cries Alone. And if you think I'm sounding a bit hoarse this week, well, it's uh, because I must admit I started smoking again after a break of at least a month. And uh, you can blame a young lady called Joe for that. So if you're listening, Joe, I hope you feel suitably guilty. Here's the March Violets and their new single called Snake Dance. <laughs> Far bit from me to say that any group is uh, rather plagiaristic, but I think a lot of groups are derivative of earlier sounds and you can't escape from that. That particular group is UK DK and from a single that's about five years old, the Black Cat EP, that's Message Distortion. And before that you heard the March Violets and something called Snake Dance on a Rebirth Records. Anyway, uh, now for another track from the Fad Gadget album, it's called Gag, and this particular track is called... What's it called? I'll just have a look a second. It's called One Man's Meat. <laughs> From the album Gag, that's Fad Gadget, and that's a track called One Man's Meat. And uh, if you're listening out there, you've got about five minutes left to call us up on 374 because after that, our phone lines close down, you won't be able to get through. So, phone up with requests, dedications, reports about reception and programming, and so on. And we'd love to hear from you. So, it's 01 if you're outside London, 54. Now, with typical German efficiency, Die Tosenhosen have got their Christmas single over here by early February, so that's pretty good, and uh, the EP is called Schöner Bescherung, I think, and I'm not not even going to try and pronounce the name of this track, and it fades in, by the way. I don't know much about the sick things, but um, apparently, according to the back of the sleeve, that was recorded at Spacewood Studios in 1977, although that is a new release as far as I know. It's on Chaos Records, and it's the Sick Things EP. 
Uh, I know this next loss are American. It's by a bloke or group called Glenn Danzig, and this is um, Spook City, USA. <laughs> From the album Time High Fiction, that's Richard H. Kirk and a track called Day of Day of Waiting. And uh, if you buy that album, you get a Dead Relatives LP absolutely free. Phoenix Radio. Phoenix Radio. <laughs> 